guys, no problem with Anderson last week, uh, playing good football here at the end of the season. What do you see that this team is doing well that you're looking to carry over into this week where the stakes get ratcheted up a little bit more? Uh, I think the biggest thing is we're really coming together as a team. Uh, yeah, we're playing well, but you can just see that everything we've been working on is uh, coming together and we're gelling well. When you take a look at this Bishop Booger team, where do you see this team has made its biggest stride since day one of this season? Like I said, just uh, executing, uh, especially starting out. We used to start out slow at the beginning of the year, and that was kind of our biggest thing because we were always in a hole. Uh, so we're starting to come out fast and just uh, executing well. Obviously, Northside is a team that you're familiar with. You played them, seems like, a long time ago, but it was just back in week two. What do you remember from that game? What can you use from that game this time around? Uh, they're a great op opponent, and again, we came out a little slow. Um, basically, we can just use uh, how we know they're fast, and they want to use that to their advantage. And obviously, they have a great quarterback and a great offense over there, so uh, we just need to preach our defense like we always do. Defensively, um, you mentioned some of the keys right there, but how much do you have to be on your toes when you play an offense like this? And how do you carry over some of the things that you did? Because you held them to 14 points the first time. Um, like you said, always be on our toes. But um, again, execution's big. Uh, putting in new stuff this week. Basically just can't let them score because then they can't win, right? Um, it's always difficult to beat a good team twice. So what's the mentality heading into this week, knowing that if you want to reach some of your ultimate goals, this is a game that you have to have, but you know they have kind of the blueprint for you. You have the blueprint for them. Um, sometimes beating a team twice is the most challenging thing, especially in football, because it's uh, they know that they know what you want to do, and we know what they want to do. So it just comes down to toughness, and I think we have that. Right. Anything else you like to add, or how much are you looking forward to this game? I mean, you know, this is kind of a game that we, as fans, and I think probably you guys too, have been wondering if it was going to happen and hoping that maybe it would happen here after you played them pretty solidly in week two. I mean, senior year, sectional championship, you can't really ask for much more, right? Perfect. Bishop, do your team playing good football so far? 42-6 uh, to six last week against Anderson after a week off to get healthy, to get rested. Uh, what do you look to carry over from last week into this week, and what are you guys doing well that's allowed you to get to this point? Well, our motto right now is just one more day with each other. So we just gotta, we got to execute on the field, just get one more day. We only got one more game right now. We got to win to get the next one. So we're just fighting to stay alive. It's a day by day process right now. Northside, a team that you're familiar with, uh, it was back in week two. What do you take away from that game? What do you remember you can apply this time? Really well, they're a very good team. They attack some of our weaknesses on our offense. Uh, they got a great offense, Deuce Taylor at quarterback, and we just got to gotta bottle Deuce in the pocket. We got to stop their offense. We got to execute our offense as well. How much are you looking forward to facing this team for a second time? It's, it's a game that after that week two game, you know, I guess everybody was kind of thinking, hey, let's wait to the playoffs when this happens again. I'm very excited. They've grown as a team a lot, so have we, and it's gonna be, I think it's going to be a great game. Uh, I know you guys got a prayer. Uh, but final question, just talk a little bit about the excitement heading into this game. It's, a, it's an opponent that you know is capable of, of putting up a lot of points, of beating a good team. So um, what's the mentality heading in, and how jacked are you guys for a game like this? Our mentality again. Let's fight, fight for another day. We want one more week with each other as the brotherhood, and we're just going to go out there. We're going to fight for four quarters, and we're going to see if they can stick with us. Where are you guys at at this point of the season, and what's the mentality as you head into a sectional championship game against a quality opponent? Well, we're still striving to get better, right? we uh, we got some areas that we need to clean up, uh, in particular penalties and some schematic things, so we're certainly focused on that. You know, mentality-wise, is uh, it's a great opportunity against, as you mentioned, it, a tremendous opponent. So, you know, as they say, uh, to defeat a good team once is one thing; to to defeat them a second time is whole whole nother deal. So, uh, it's a tremendous challenge. They're they're a great team. Uh, all three facets are clicking for them. They're they're balanced on offense now with passing and running the ball. They they showed they can certainly run the ball last week. So, uh, great challenge. We've got to focus on the things that we can get better at and. Uh, and I'll be ready to go Friday. What do you take away from that week two matchup? You beat them 27-14 at their place. It was a you know a great high school football game. What do you learn? What do you take away? What do you remember that you can apply? Well, I think uh, you, you learn a lot, although, as you mentioned, it's week two, right? So everybody's you know in the midst of figuring out who they are and things that they can do well and things that they, they don't necessarily do so well. So, you know, we take a little bit from week two, although, you know, we know they've gotten tremendously better and, you know, we hope we've gotten better as well. Uh, we can certainly compete, obviously, and we know they can certainly compete with us, and they're dangerous. You know, they, they're explosive on offense, playing great defense. They're flying around. they got guys that uh, can certainly uh, hurt you in a lot of ways. So 
uh, we learned uh, how dangerous they are. You know, I, th I think we were fortunate. You know, we we, uh, we were able to cash in on a few uh, that that they weren't able to, and that was the only difference. Uh, other than that, it was a tremendous ball game. So you know, you you project that a couple weeks ahead now, and it's going to be a great battle. How much have you been looking forward to this? Because I know after week two, I think both sides kind of said, "Hey, let's let's wait till the playoffs. Maybe we we'll play <laughs> each other in the playoffs. That would be awesome." Yeah. yeah. Um, so how much anticipation is there for a game like this? Because, um, you know, your guys know their guys. You've played them now once this season, and both teams obviously have a lot of talent on the football field. Yeah, obviously you're looking forward to in the postseason just moving on week to week, right? And so, you know, there was, a, you know, a likelihood that we might meet up again, or at least we were both hopeful that we'd have an opportunity to play again. And, you know, it's it's why their kids are at Northside, why our kids are here. They want to play uh against great opponents and uh, so you know here we go an opportunity for a sectional championship uh, for them and for us and so there's there's something on the table as they say and so it's going to bring out the best in both of us hopefully and you know it'll be a great opportunity for our kids to uh, uh, to play the game of football Friday night so anything else you'd like to add no we're good thank you awesome.